Welcome to this week's Lit Family video. We're the Hunnenbergers and here's our story. Hey Chloe, let's pack up our bags to go on our adventure. In this weekend's Gospel, we hear the story of the rich young man who approaches Jesus and asks him, what must I do to inherit eternal life? I have to do it like that. You need the chainsaw, bud? Jesus tells him, you have to sell all of your belongings. And this upsets the young man because he had many possessions. Colby, are you ready? No. And the ukulele. But I need the remote. We also hear Jesus say, it is easier for a camel to pass through the, an eye of a needle than it is for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. His disciples were really astonished by this and questioned him, how is this possible? And then Jesus again reminds them, with human beings it is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Holy, it would be a lot easier if you took all, all that stuff out of your backpack. I think it's really easy for us who are immersed in family life um, to get into the comparison game of what others have, what their house is like, um, what kind of car they're driving, what vacations they're taking, or what kind of clothes they or their kids are wearing. And sometimes it's really easy to feel like we're not meeting up to um, those standards. But in reality, what we have is okay. What we're doing is okay. As long as we have God as the center of our hearts and of our minds, then what we're doing is enough and what we have is enough. So when you are stuck thinking, oh, I need to get this next best thing or this next big thing, remember, you can't take those things with you to heaven. And hopefully that's the goal for all of us um, to help our spouse and our families get to heaven. Um, so this week we would challenge you, just put your trust in God when you feel like what you're doing isn't enough or what you have isn't enough. And just know that he will take care of you if your focus is on him. Join us in this great adventure of family at ilovemyfamily.us. We'll meet you this Sunday in the Eucharist and know how truly and deeply God loves you.